Oh, good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my next uh, in a series of tutorials. Uh, today, what I'm going to basically teach you how to do is uh, cut out a canopy. And it's something that a couple of people have requested from me, so I decided to do this as my next tutorial. Uh, okay, what you have on the screen here is an OV10 Bronco that I've been working on. And as you can see on the screen here, it doesn't have an actual canopy. Uh, the actual shape is there, but obviously it isn't cut out properly. Now what you'll see here uh, on the left side, is, or I'm sorry, on the right side of the screen, is actually my, uh, my reference drawing. So what I'm going to do now is go to, uh, go to left view and move it over here. And what you basically see is the outline of my canopy. Everything in pink here is actually my, uh, the, the actual model, and everything in gray is the, uh, is the reference drawing. So basically what I do when I do a canopy is I cut out the whole canopy first. Uh, there's a couple of reasons uh, for doing that. It makes it a little easier to work on, but it also has another side benefit that I'll show you in a few minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on create and then we're going to create a shape and a line. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a line that's going to be the shape of our canopy. And then we're going to actually cut that out of our mesh. So we'll start up here click, come down to here, just basically the outline of the entire canopy. Now you can come up here and click a couple of times and close the spline. Now if you look, uh, if you rotate it around, you'll notice that we have a basic shape there. So then what we do is we go into uh, here, uh, instead of standard primitives, we're going to go to, uh, sorry, go to modify first, and click on extrude. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this two-dimensional shape and turn it into a three-dimensional shape by left-clicking on the amount and basically moving it out like this. It doesn't really matter how much. Just uh, move it out so that you can, you can see it, that it's three-dimensional. Then take your uh, select and move and move it over so that it be, the blue shape intersects the pink shape completely, like this. And look around and make sure that it's intersecting, and it is. So then what you do is you go back over to Create, uh, go to compound objects and select boolean. Then what you do is you pick operand B and select the fuselage shape. Now as you can see what we did there was basically uh, cut it out and if we look here that's not quite what we want. In fact it's pretty much the exact opposite of what we want. Uh, so what we'll actually do is we'll select intersection. Now as you can see what that does is it creates just our canopy shape. And if you look around, you can see that. So now, what we're going to want is, we're going to want this canopy shape to be saved. So what we'll actually do is go File, and Export Selected. Uh, and we'll go up here, and we'll find our OV10, and we'll find this thing called Canopy. So we'll go to Replace equals Yes, and Preserve Max Shape. So now that's what we have. Now you press Control z to back up, and this time select, select B from A. So what's left is everything that was, or sorry, we intersect our three-dimensional shape from our fuselage. So now what we have is we have the shape which we can place our canopy object into. So what you do is go File and Import, go up, find the OV10 directory where we saved it, select 3DS, and select Canopy. Merge, don't convert units, click OK. And we'll call it C-A-N-O-P-Y. And now what we have is we have the actual outline of our canopy. Now obviously this is not exactly cut out yet, but at least that gives us a shape to work with. Now, I told you before that there's another side benefit to doing it this way, and I'm going to show you what that is. I'm going to hide my canopy shape for a second, so I'm going to hide Select It. And you'll notice that the fuselage is still a solid object. Because if you think about it, you're going to have to have uh, basically a hol hollow this out and it's actually a lot easier to do if you do it this way. So what we'll do is we'll select that, we'll click on that, convert it to an editable mesh, select polygon, and what we're going to do is we're just going to select the polygons here that make up this area. And This is just to show you, I'm going to put all this back, but basically what we'll do now is bevel it. So we'll click on bevel, 